A big thanks to Napoleon Grills for sponsoring this episode. Hey, I'm Pitmaster X, and today we're going to be cooking this beautiful roast. I picked up this beautiful beef roast. Just look at it, the intramuscular fat. It's insane. This thing is so beautiful. I just had to bring it home. I saw it in the shop and it was looking at me and it's actually calling me. Take me home and cook me. Put me on the barbecue. And I really wasn't planning on getting this piece because this is from a Frisian cow. And has nobody ever heard of that cow? It's not well known. But when I looked at this, I saw that it's amazing because it has beautiful intramuscular fat and that's the magic. So you can see that if they finish the cow in a proper way and feeding it, letting it live in a closed environment, it's going to be so amazing. And I don't mean put it in like a little cage and stuff food down his throat. No, I mean in welfare, so the animal has a smaller space to walk around it, not too much exercise, not running around in the fields, just like, I don't know, 50 square meters or something like that. Like I do, like, uh, like, like gaming. That's what I mean. So like us, well, like you. And be fed super awesome food because they love that stuff. Normally they get not too much of it because it's expensive and they get fed. And in this case, this one, it got so beautifully fed. <laughs> and now it's here and it's all mine. Oh, you're gorgeous. Now let's trim this puppy up and throw it on a barbecue. But before we are going to start, you need to check out our website. It's insane. We got the best barbecue recipes in the whole wild world. And you just need to scroll through it and find the one that you're going to be cooking this weekend. And let me know. Put it down below in the comments. Now, of course, I want to make this cut look the best it can. So I'm going to take my super slicer, cut off the outside, and then I'm going to trim it up to make it look really good. Now I'm going to truss it up and I'm going to use an easy basic nut. And now my rib roast looks absolutely amazing. So let's make an amazing barbecue rub to put on this roast. I'm going to start with salt. And for a big roast like this, I'm using fleur de sel, which is a light sea salt around two tablespoons. Now I'm gonna add half a part of ground black pepper to that. Half a part of onion powder. A quarter part of garlic powder. One eighth part of rosemary powder. Half a part of dried oregano leaves. And half a part of dried parsley. I'm gonna finish it all with sumac, which is a Turkish ingredient, but gives it a nice sour flavor. But that's optional and you can use as much or as little as you like. To make sure the rub is gonna stick, I'm gonna put on some Dutch mayonnaise. It's super creamy and it has a little bit of sweetness to it. Now sprinkle on the rub and you're good as golden. So now it's time to fire up our barbecue. My Napoleon Kettle Pro is up the temperature. I'm gonna put the cast iron grill grate in. Now this grill grate, I can put it in any position I want. Look at this. I can just have it at this position or I could lower it to another position or I could even go lower. So that way it just sits straight on top of the charcoal. But what I'm doing is I'm smoking this over a lower temperature. So I'm going to set it at medium height. And we got a big block of beech wood sitting right there that's going to protect the meat. So I'm going to sit it right here, nice and safe. No radiation heat, just convection heat going over the top. And now, of course, I got to add my thermometer, making sure that I've got the right core temperature. So I'm going to stick that in the center. There we go. And now I can close the lid and let this beauty cook. Just got the notification from the thermometer that it's ready and oh my god. <laughs> this looks so good. Oh, look at that crust. It is so yummy. This crust is so thick, it's insane. We were cooking this thing and throughout the cook, you saw those little bubbles from the mayonnaise, the fat dissolving, running out and all of the smoke and the crispiness on the outside developing. 
This has spent the last two hours building up flavor and it just looks insane. Oh, <laughs> I can't wait, man. Let's take it off. Oh, what a bark. Now I'm gonna let this rest and then I'm gonna slice into it. looked insane like the thing that stood out to me most was like when it was roasting that mayonnaise you see it bubbling on the outside like little bubble 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 and that's how you know it's basically frying the outside of your steak with all that beautiful crust on and then it turns into something juicy and insane like this look at this dripping like Seriously, that's a lot of dripping. I'm just, I'm seriously contemplating to bite into it like this. Uh, I've been standing in the smoke so long, I wasn't even hungry. I'm sitting here right now and I'm freaking hungry. Oh, that's juicy. Booby mm. trap. Booby trap, I don't care. Look at that, I got everything. So there we go. Mm. There's still an insane large, large bite. We even have a beautiful smoke ring on the outside. And this looks so good. And you don't see the smoke ring, it's only juices from that side. This is only like waterfalls. This, so this is supposed to be overcooked, but it's so juicy. It's like, I'm not even in the middle part. Like th the trick is to, you just use your kettle grill, put in a block of wood, put in some charcoal, light it up. And the, the most important is, light it up. Light up your barbecue. Don't stick this in the oven. It's probably enough for a lot of people, right? Eh? A lot of people can eat from this. I'm not done, done yet, so I don't know why you're, you're talking about the cherry. All right, <laughs> for the this main course. For the main course. This is- Where you want to start? I don't know, man. I don't know. This is a lot to take on. What's happening on this plate? Uh, uh, what is going on? We got some mashed potatoes, which is like the most common thing ever. Yeah. But then I cooked some red onions yeah. in butter, added mm. sugar, and then flambéed it to finish it off. Ooh. 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 I'm acting surprised, but I was there the whole time <laughs> and I drooled all over it. But it smells like sweetness and a little bit of alcohol. But the good thing is like the beef was sitting on top of it and all of the juices of the beef went in. I'm now it. inside of that. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I want to do a little bit picanha style. Huh? I want to like, I want a little bit bark. I'm going to skip the roast. Yeah? I'm going to go I wanna straight. I want to do a little bit bark, picanha style. Do whatever you want. I'm doing picanha. I want to know what that side this tastes like. Oh, oh. whoa. Oh, oh. Whoa. Is that a dessert? <laughs> Or is it a main course? Just like, let's, let's be serious. This fits in no health food program of any kind. Well. But who cares? Why are you eating all the good parts of the steak? I don't know. That's not allowed. Okay. I think we, we can show them that we complete this whole plate. But we are. Maybe we should just close off because we're not really focused anymore on making a video. I recommend you go do this yourself at home. Like just even with a ribeye steak, like make this whole thing as a plate. You're gonna be so happy. So I'm gonna thank the patrons. I'm gonna thank the YouTube members. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you for all of the comments that you put down below and the thumbs up. See you guys next time. That's it. I it's wanna Mark. say I, I wanna say one more thing. Get the recipe down below. Yeah. Get it. Oh, and we got the vlog. And the vlog. And the butcher's coming by. One more piece, piece in the right. It's in the vlog. Go check it out. The link is down below. It's so cool to be on the vlog. Okay, but now you gotta close off. Oh, for yeah, real. but you just have to say it's makkelijk. It's makkelijk. There it is. Keep on grilling. And now you have to push the button. No, no, no. Walk away from the plate. No. Look at your shirt, dude. How's that even possible? That's not possible. How can it be so clean? Uh, magic. It's not possible. Mm.